What's up guys, we're back again with another tutorial. Um, I wasn't going to film today actually because so I'm still feeling a little bit ill, however, uh, it's such an exciting one that I just thought I'm just going to have to do it um, and get it out there. And obviously that's going to be converting your Minecraft worlds. That's, this is going to be the Java to Bedrock or Bedrock to Java and it works really well. Now before I get into the video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, getting ridiculously close to a thousand subs, which is pretty cool. It's taking a little while to get here, but it's it's awesome. We're almost there. So with that, let's get into the video. First thing we're going to need is we're going to go to the Microsoft Store. From here, we're going to search for, if we search in the top here, for JE2BE. Um, once you search for that, you're going to see on the left, um, you can download it and it is for free. Little icon looks like that, so just make sure to grab it. Now to actually open it up, just search here, um, J, J2BE, you can open it up and you can see it's a very simple user interface. Um, I mean, really super simple. There's nothing hard about it. It's either Java to Bedrock, Bedrock to Java. You've also got Xbox 360 to Bedrock or Java, which I'm not going to be covering in this video because I didn't manage to get my 360 working in time. However, if I do get it working, I will also do a video for that because that'd be really cool to be able to bring your old worlds uh, back to life, really. So with that, let's get started. And the first one that we're going to do is Java to Bedrock. So we're going to create a Java world. We're going to move over to Bedrock and make sure that works all right. Uh, later on, if you want to use the timestamps as well, um, we're going to do Bedrock to Java. So if you do want to do that, just skip forward in the video. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm opening up Java on Java edition. I'm going to be using the latest edition up till now, which is 18.2. And we're going to go to play. So with Java opened up, let's go do the single player and we're going to create a world. Now, just so we know um, that it's the same world that we're moving, we're going to create a world and I'm just going to call this Java world. So we've got Java world, let's open it up on creative and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build a very big pillar that we can see when we move over the world just to make sure that it's the same. So now we've loaded up in the world, let's just take a quick look at the terrain around us. Um, we've got a bit of birch and pumpkins and a river and of course I'm just going to build something just going up in the sky. We'll just build a little simple tower here um, just as a point of reference. So when we do spawn in, we should be spawning in on the same point. Uh, I do believe I've got the same player name, I'm not too sure, but either way, we should be spawning at the uh, the world spawn over here. And what we shall see is hopefully this tower right here. And don't forget, importantly, we have to save and quit the game. Once you do save and actually, uh, sorry, once you quit and then you save, uh, it's going to be saved on the file, so you're going to be able to find it really easily on JE2BE. With that done, let's close this down completely. Now um, go here to search, we're going to search for J. No, J, there we go, JE2B. So let's open that up. And obviously we have our Java world. Um, you can use another pre-existing Java world. And um, we're gonna go to Java to Bedrock. Now, obviously as you can see, it's come up first on my list because that's the one that I've just saved on my single player game there. If you have got it saved on another device or you know in another folder or something like that, it's a pre-existing world, you can just go to select from other directories. However, as I have it here, I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna go to next. Um, and we're going to go to start. From here you can choose where you want to save it to. Now I'm going to save it into the Minecraft Bedrock save folder which is in your single player. So when I load up Minecraft Bedrock now I will find it on my list straight away. However you can save it into a custom folder or export it as an MC World file. MC World files are pretty easy. You can send them over to other people as well. If they want to play they can just double click it and it'll just open up on their Minecraft. However we're just going to go to save into Minecraft Bedrock save folder. And just like that, it is all done. So now let's close this down. Let's go onto Bedrock. Let's make sure that it's been converted nicely. Now it loaded up into Bedrock. Let's go to play and we're gonna go to, uh, there we go. So on your worlds, you can see on the top, we have Java worlds that's converted over nicely. Also, you can see it's got that sort of grayish grayed out picture that will change once you load in. It will give you a nice color picture of what you last, um, your last looking out in that world. Uh, so let's just load in, make sure it's the same one, make sure the pillar's still there. So as we can see, the pillar is still there. If we look around, we should have the same scenery. Uh, once it does load up, there we go. So we've got the river there. Uh, we should have birch forest and the pumpkins. So that's come over really nicely. One thing to note on here um, is that it, it will load up all the, the chunks that are already loaded up. So anything in your old maps that you've explored will still be the same. Anything that is not explored and you've not unloaded uh, up the chunks, um, it will basically make new terrain from whatever version you're using. So that's why I opened up with the latest version. Uh, so although the old terrain might not have some of the stuff, obviously you've explored the chunks, so it might not have some of the new items, uh, so some of the new blocks, sorry. Um, all the other new generation will be on unexplored chunks. So that's all done, Java to Bedrock. That was all done really within a couple of minutes. Obviously, if your world's a little bit larger, you might want to, or it might take a little bit longer to convert the world. However, now, or if you have skipped forward on the timestamps, we're now going to do Bedrock to Java. So let's just go ahead, create a new world. Um, go to create here, got a new little interface that I didn't realize they changed. Uh, going to go to creative, and this time we're going to call it Bedrock World. I'm going to create it on creative, so again, I can just make a nice pillar. So let's just go up, make sure it's different terrain to the last one. Um, so we've got some river there. 
Um, it's not a birch forest, so it isn't the same. So we've got the plains here, we've got a little horse, um, we've got the river over here, and of course, let's just build up a new tower. Um, let's make it purple this time with the crimson planks. So I'm just going to build this up, make sure that, of course, it all goes over to Java version very nicely. There we go, nice tall tower. We also have that that little cliff edge there, or the little underground bit. So we should be able to tell that when we move over the worlds. Now again, importantly, exit and make sure that you save. This will show up first in your list now when you go to choose the world on Bedrock to convert over to Java. So again, we're gonna pull up JE2BE, um, and this time we're gonna go from Bedrock to Java. Now, because I saved it, as we can see straight away, we have the Bedrock world. Uh, so we can just select that, we can go to next. You get slightly different options here. This is if you want to import the uh, player ID from the Minecraft launcher embed it into the level data so if you want the level data to move from one to the other uh, perhaps you got like the same accounts or same names and you got both java and bedrock uh, if you do want to click that and it will give you but obviously the options that you have uh, i have my profile here so let's just go ahead let's press start let's move over the data as well um, you don't actually need to do this though uh, once that's done save into minecraft java edition save folder that will put it straight into your single player so when i load up java now i've saved it in here i can just double click it and it'll open or you can save into a custom folder if you want to save it uh, perhaps on like a usb stick or something like that so that's all done only took a few minutes again it's only a very small world i've only generated a few chunks around me so it's quite small so let's close this down let's open up java minecraft again now with java edition open back up again let's just go to our single player and we should now see bedrock world same again with the grayed out picture uh, this of course will go colorful once we do open it up and play the world and it'll get a new picture for it so there we go just like that we loaded up we have our big purple tower that we built here exactly the same let's just see if it moved over the horse as well uh, there we go horses are there we've got the cliff that has moved over the entire world just as we left it on bedrock onto java so with that i'm glad to say that you can now move over any of your worlds whether it's java to bedrock or bedrock to java and obviously hopefully i'll be able to make another video for the 360 version as well uh, just so we can get all the worlds moved off of there and updated so and before i finish in fact i just want to mention if you haven't got yourself a minecraft server yet head on over to seekhost.co you can grab yourself a super cheap server starting at only two dollars per month obviously you can work your way up to any huge style server 32 64 gigabyte whatever you're going to need for your need uh, you can either request a custom one uh, great for modded servers bedrock and java and of course mcp so head on over there that's seekerhost.co if you haven't got yourself a server yet and i'll see you on the next video don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button as well bye bye